Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. So we have a binary tree problem for today. So the problem is uh, finding the tilt of a binary tree. Given the root of a binary tree, we need to return the sum of every tree node's tilt. So how do we calculate the tilt? The tilt of a tree node is the absolute difference between the sum of all left subtree node, uh, the left subtree node values and all right subtree node values. So if you have a node, you have to calculate sum of all the uh, values uh, from its left subtree. Then you calculate sum of all the values from the right subtree. You take absolute, you take absolute difference between these two values. That becomes the tilt of a given a particular node. So if a node does not have any left child or right child, and that becomes a zero. The weight of that particular uh, left subtree or right subtree becomes zero. So your absolute difference becomes uh, either left subtree value or right subtree value. If both are both doesn't like, doesn't exist then the tilt of a particular node becomes a zero. So basically, if you have a leaf nodes where you have a left subtree and right subtree as null, the tilt will be a zero. So let's look at the examples. So we have a binary tree like uh, with root node one and it has a left subtree with uh, one node uh, with value two. The right, right subtree has a, a one node with value three. So when we calculate the tilt for every node, so uh, 2 and 3 are uh, leaf nodes here so the tilt of uh, root uh, node 2 will be 0 because it doesn't have any children similarly uh, the tilt value of uh, node 3 will be 0 and then uh, the node with the value 1 the tilt will be uh, left subtree well uh, sum of uh, left subtree uh, absolute difference between sum of uh, left subtree and sum of right subtree so that will be absolute value of 2 minus 3 so that will be equal to 1 then finally you need to return the sum of all the tilt values so 0 plus 1 plus 0 it will be 1 so the tilt of the given binary tree will be 1 so output will be 1 then in the second example we have uh, 4 2 3 5 9 7 so when you calculate the tilt uh, for these nodes so let's start with the leaf nodes so all the nodes 3 5 7 will have tilt value of 0 because they doesn't have any left and right subtrees then the node uh, 2 has a left subtree of 3 and right subtree of 5 so the absolute difference between these two will be 3 minus 5 or 2 so 2 will uh, the tilt value for the node 2 will be 2 then the node with uh, value 9 the tilt value will be a 7 because you don't have left sub left subtree for uh, node 9 so the left subtree value will be 0 then the value uh, for right subtree is 7 so 7 minus 0 it will be 7 and finally the root node 4 so the sum of all the values on its left subtree will be 3 plus 2 plus 5 that will be 10 and sum of all the node values on right side will be 9 plus 7 16 so absolute value of 10 minus 16 which will be 6 so these are the tilt values for for the corresponding nodes so now we need to sum all these tilt values and return the final value so it will be 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 7 15 so the value will be 15 so similarly the third example we have a big tree now so the output will be 9 so let's look at uh, the constraints so the number of nodes in the tree will be in the range 0 to 10 power 4 so that is a, a, a big number and the node values will be in the range minus 1000 to 1000 so probably we need to uh, write a uh, somewhat efficient code because the number of nodes are a little bit on the higher side so let's uh, let's see how we can approach this problem let's look at an example let's say we have a tree like this binary tree the root node is 3 and it has two subtrees left and right subtrees and we have leaf nodes 15 10 and 7 so let's see how we can calculate the tilt of uh, every node so the nodes here are 3 15 5 10 7 let's look at the uh, leaf nodes first how to calculate tilt value because uh, it's easy because they doesn't have any children so the node with 15 uh, the left and right sum will be 0 so the tilt value will be 0 similarly for the node 10 0 0 on left and right so the tilt value will be 0 for the node 7 you have a left, left sum as 0 right sum as 0 so the tilt value will be 0 minus 0 0 now when we go to the node 5 the left sum will be 10 because it has a left subtree with node 10 so left sum will be 10 and its right sum is 7 because it has only one node as a right subtree 7 so now the tilt value of node 5 will be 
absolute value of 10 minus m so that will be 3 now let's look at the last node root node so its left sum is 15 because it has one node with 15 value and its right subtree has 3 nodes so we need to calculate the sum of all these values so that will be 10 5 15 plus 7 22 now the tilt value of uh, node 3 will be absolute value of absolute difference between 15 minus 15 and 22 so it will be 7 now we need to calculate the sum of all these tilt values and then return so that will be 7 plus 3 10 okay so uh, to calculate a tilt value for a particular node let's say we are calculating the tilt value of node 3 so to calculate tilt value of node 3 we should know the sum of all the values on its left subtree then we also should know the sum of all the values in its right subtree similarly let's say if we are calculating a tilt value uh, for a leaf node again uh, you need to know uh, sum of all the values on its left subtree and sum of all, all its values on the right subtree so uh, if you generalize this for a given for any given node to calculate the tilt value you should already know the sum of all the values on its left subtree similarly the sum of all the values in the right subtree so then only we can calculate the tilt value for that particular node so uh, what does that mean so if you want to process a particular node you should have already processed its left subtree as well as right subtree then you can process the node so does it sound familiar i mean uh, did you get any clue what we are doing exactly here yes so that looks like a post order traversal so that means you traverse for a given node you traverse its left subtree then you traverse its right subtree then you process the current node so that is a post order traversal because you are uh, processing the node right at the end you are processing its children first then you are processing the node at the end so if you process the node first then you process its children that will be called pre order traversal that is opposite of post order traversal and the other uh, form of traversal is in order traversal so you process your left subtree first then you process your node then you process your right subtree that becomes in order traversal that means your node will be in between le uh, your left and right subtrees okay so these are also called uh, dfs traversal because uh, that is called depth first search traversal because you traverse the tree in the depth wise not in the not in every level so you go depth then you traverse every node so if you traverse level by level that means you traverse uh, you process the node 3 first then you process nodes 15 and 5 then you process the nodes 10 and 7 that is called level order traversal so you are completing every level before moving on to the next level so this is called breadth first search bfs bfs traversal so basically uh, we are uh, we will use uh, dfs traversal here because a post order is uh, one of the forms of DFS traversal. So that should do the job for us here. So when we say DFS, as I mentioned in my previous uh, videos, it is uh, DFS is uh, best solved with uh, recursion. So as I, as we discussed earlier, uh, binary tree problems are best solved with recursion. So let's use the recursion for this al for this also. So for any given recursion uh, logic, we need to have two things taken care. So first thing is uh, base condition because recursion, when you say recursion you call the same function again and again within the same function. So we need to break at some point. So that is called the base condition. So the base condition here will be so whenever you get a node null you return the weight as a 0 and then you uh, process the node further. You can call a recursive function. The second important point is what is the objective of our recursive function? So what are we trying to calculate or what are we trying to process in this function? So our objective here is we need to calculate the sum of all the nodes for a given uh, node including its left subtree and right subtree. And if required we can update our tilt value at the same time. So our objective will be calculate the weight of left and right subtrees including its node. So these are the two important things for our recursive function. So let's go back and uh, write some code. Let's see how it works. So uh, we have the function find tilt with the root node uh, given to us. So let's write uh, some recursive function. Let's say uh, find sum 
and we accept uh, node as input so as we discussed discussed the first thing is uh, base condition so we need to handle the base condition if node equal to null just return weight as zero so the return return value here is the weight of the node including its left and right entries so now objective is to calculate the weight of the weight of all the nodes including the current node so as we discussed we are going to use post order traversal so we need to process the left and right subtrees first then process the node so what we need to do is as as we as we have seen in the table we need to calculate left sum and right sum so it is a recursive function so we call the same function again so find sum with different node so it's left left node left subtree then again you calculate right sum and call the same function again with right subtree so node of right now you got uh, the sum of all the values on the left side and sum of all the values on the right side so now we can easily calculate the tilt value so what we need to return from this function the return value will be node of value plus left sum plus right sum this will be our return value so now we have everything in place so now we need to calculate the tilt value right so let's take uh, one variable tilt sum equal to zero so we keep updating this one with every node's uh, tilt value so now for this particular node so, so we so we will calculate the tilt value for this particular node and then add to tilt sum so that will be absolute difference of left sum and right sum yeah that should do uh, the thing so now in our uh, main function just call the same function find sum find sum with our root node then finally you return the tilt value that we have calculated so this should uh, this should work fine so let's execute and see to check the other examples 1 2 3 this example is what we have seen this is what we have seen in the presentation so let's check other values as well Second example. Yeah, let's run. Let's run it and check the values output. Tilt sum. It's not tilt value. It is tilt sum. Okay. Yeah. So the our answer is 10.1915 expected is 10.1915 so let's submit and check it hopefully it should work for all the test cases yes the solution has been accepted let's check the time complexity So all the test cases have been passed and runtime is 24 milliseconds. It's a decent runtime. So we are just processing uh, all the nodes in the given tree once. So every node we call this function and we don't do any extra processing. So this will the time complexity here will be in the order of O of n. And space complexity will be uh, we are not using any extra space. Only thing is uh, it should be ideally constant, but we are doing a recursion here. So recursion always involves a stack. The stack stores uh, the node values. So it will be if there are n nodes and if our recursion goes to uh, a level of n nodes, then you have a space complexity of in the order of n. So we have to store n nodes in the recursion stack. So it depends on the uh, recursion depth. So the time complexity is O of n and space complexity is O of n uh, given that we are using a recursion. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and provide your feedback. Thank you.